This is not exaggerated. I'll be trying to tell y'all. Ain't no relationship perfect. Stop looking and idolizing relationships on the internet. We go through our own shit. <laughs> and this is what I have to tell y'all that. And I please record it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because don't ever forget it. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all league? So, first of all, I know I've been missing for a few days. Um, to be quite frank with you, I've been dealing with co-parenting. Co-parenting. Co-parent, they said. <laughs> co-parenting would be easy. They said. Co-parenting, for those that don't know, is two adults that have consented to conceiving a child, end up having the child, decide to separate because things didn't work out, and both continue to take care of the child in two separate households, right? But then with co-parenting, mommy dates someone else, daddy dates someone else, and then we got a village. That's what we call it over here. It's a village. It takes a village to raise a child anyway, right? In this case, we got two. And co-parenting can be smooth, I feel as though, with the right communication. The reason why I'm making this video is because A, I want to vent. It's my life. B, I want to help some of you studs out there because I can't help men. I don't know. I'm not a man. I don't know nothing about that. Studs, I want to holler at y'all. Now, some of y'all, also, I did make this video because some of y'all will comment that it's going, that is co-parenting currently and will let me know, like, what's going on. I want you to. I want you to put down, I'm reading these comments. I want you to put down in the comments what you've gone through, how it works for you, what's your best tips. Literally, very descriptive of what you do. Am I asking for help? No, but guidance always outrules ignorance. You know what I'm saying? You, you learn something new every day, right? So I'm open to learning. Now, <clears throat> with the co-parenting and then, once again, you, you are dating someone who has conceived children and you come into their life, everything changes. Who your girlfriend is who you once thought you knew <laughs> is a total different person. And or I can't speak for the daddies. I don't know. But for sure with the mothers. Uh, mothers have to do what's best for their children. Right? Even when you feel like something is, is better. Most of the time I feel like they're going to go with their gut. On what they think is best. And or if they let you lead the household that's different as well. But it's still certain boundaries and certain respect. Now me, uh, ownership, I have recently uh, crossed a couple boundaries. Um, and not even intentionally. It's, it's not intentional at all. You, you tend to, um, I'm going to just say this. <clears throat> I'm an alpha female. Absolutely. <laughs> um, am I rich yet? No. But do I handle my business and all my bills are paid for and I can do extra shit? Yes. When it comes to the extra, extra, that's what we're working on. <laughs> okay, but I pay all my bills. I um, take care of my woman and I hold down the fort in my home. And what goes on in my house stays in my house, you know. Co-parenting number one that I have figured out is especially dealing, not dealing, but especially in depending on how you met this woman and depending on how you know this man, you should not, you should not connect the two. I don't feel as though um, the parents should meet. And I know a lot of y'all are going to disagree with that because it is some parents that have met and they have no problems. 
but they also had no ties. When me and TT first got together, and I'm telling y'all this because the title is not a lie, we almost broke up because of co-parenting, no cap. I was about to have to make a video and all that shit. <laughs> but um, instead I'ma just, you know, vent, tell my truth. Um, and this is no, this is not a secret. This is on the other channel, but when me and her met, she was on the, her and her uh, child's father. <coughs> they were just now breaking up, getting out of their cycle. They've been together for 14 years. 14 years. A decade and a half. Half. Okay. They've been together for 14 years and they have a certain amount of trauma that they have dealt with together and separate that has nothing to do with me. <clears throat> right? Nothing. But outside looking in, I feel like you can see things more clear than the person that, that is in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all might look at me and be like, yo, neat, like, psh, face getting kind of fat, my boy. But I look at myself every day and I ain't seen it. But you've seen it. You notice the difference. You notice the change. So you want to say, friend, your face getting kind of fat. You need to, you need, <laughs> you need to work out, bitch. <laughs> but in a co-parenting situation, mm -mm. when I met her, I was introduced to him. I was introduced to him and once again, wasn't no problems, still ain't no problems really. Uh -uh. But he didn't know me for getting with his ex, you know, woman. He knew me for being her friend. And in the beginning, that's what it was. Yeah, we was kicking it with our feet up or whatever. Started having a little sex. It wasn't even supposed to be serious, you know what I'm saying? And then shit, we just got serious. Now, in this case, I know that's like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I thought y'all was just cool. So, oh, okay. So now you telling me y'all together. <clears throat> and I have to tell y'all this side of the story cause I don't want to be biased. And a lot of things just transpire. A lot of uh, conversations have been had. So that came out, you know, in other words. And after that happened, now we're getting serious because we fuck with each other. Hell, we done fell in love with each other, you know? And what he once had for 14 years, I'm being transparent because I don't care. Um, also, you know, um, this ain't nothing that hasn't kind of been displayed online. We got our own stories on our channel, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, talking with y'all, but after that happened and things get serious, you start getting serious with your woman, right? So when you get involved with your, you get serious with your woman and y'all talk about living together and shit, you know, my kids coming too. I'm a package deal. Mamas are always package deals. Okay. Always. So you want to deal with me? You want to deal with this? This is what it comes with, right? And in the beginning, it's like, all right, bet. <laughs> Shit. <coughs> I've been wanting kids anyway. Yeah, you know. I want to learn. I want to um, dive into new things. And, you know, you you get a relationship with these damn kids, girl. And just it's just one of the... It's a dope place to be when you have a good dynamic, you know, with the kids. Um, although, it's, it's, it's times where that third parent is just... That third parent got to stay in that third parent place, you know? And I'm not going to lie. As a, um, you know, alpha female, I consider myself alpha female no matter what anybody thinks. But I know what I do. And uh, as an alpha female, that's it's hard. It's hard because certain things that you would do, certain things that you would say, how you would do it, how you would say it, is not going to happen amongst two people that been dealing with each other way longer than you. So that's, that's already number one. That's just like, okay. Um, then the kids. So co-parenting number two, 
with studs, and it could be with men too. I don't know. I I can let I, I gotta let y'all know. I, clearly, I'm not a man. I can't speak for him. So call me biased, but I I can't. <clears throat> but studs, men are egotistical. You know, in all honesty, men. That's what that's their job. You know, uh, to to be a man, and with being a man comes along an ego. You know. Where it's a thin line for us is we got the same ego. We got the same ego with a period, a couple titties, and um, a little more emotion behind it. We studs have egos as well because we have to carry ourselves in a way, not even have to. A lot of us just got it on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't an act. If I were to start acting like Nikiana, that's an act. This? This is me, you know what I'm saying? So I am a provider. I am a lover. I like to make sure everybody's straight, even before me, you know, which is something that um, I will be changing. Uh, but I do try my best to build everybody up around me, you know, and it has always slapped me in the face. <laughs> this is the last time. This is the last time that that will have to slap me in the face. Um, for one, me and TT are still together. We absolutely worked through everything we just went through these past few days. Um, I asked her, was it cool to record this video? She said she don't give a fuck. Um, but it was, it was tough for these past few days. And I know for these next several years, it is going to be a time. Um, I've been running away from this for so long. I'm almost, and when I say the word forced, cause I'm not forced to do anything. Nobody's putting a gun in my head. Um, but I want to not be able to run away from this. You know what I'm saying? Because A, at some point, <laughs> I'm going to want to, uh, enjoy that feminine side of me. And I don't mean feminine as far as like girly. I mean, um, what comes along with a, with being a woman, you know, um, Having kids, scared to death. Keep going back and forth in my mind about what I want to do. And I, I, I'm a decisive person sometimes. It, when I'm really not sure, I'm just not. You know, um, but in this situation, scared as hell. I already told y'all that. So, I'm just noticing. I'm not just noticing. I've been known. Studs and men don't get along for the most part. Um, some, you're fine. And I mean get along in this area. Not... That's my nigga. I, I got a couple niggas that's, that's my nigga. <clears throat> but to get along in dealing with a woman, and now to get along in dealing with children, not the easiest task. So I'm making this video to one vent, like I said, for two. If there's any studs out there that's going through this shit, I'm going to let you know right now what I learned and what I will continue to do um for the rest of my life okay for one you don't have to overstep your boundaries and you don't have to overextend your hand right i'm a spoiler i like to do that um i like to take care of those i love but at some point how can i put this <coughs> what what you do for somebody else um that's what you do for them. You get what I'm saying? So what you do for the child is solely on you. Um, especially if the other party isn't asking you for these things. Now, if you feel as though <clears throat> the other party should be paying for these things, then you're just going to have to let them pay. It's almost like, damn, I want to get you these dunks, but he should be doing that shit. So here is... <laughs> I'm letting y'all know where my, recently, where my, this where I went into a disarray with. I could, you know, and, and I am, I want to, but shit, fuck is you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I had to learn that, you know, that's something that I want to do. I can just do that. I, I'm not doing that for anybody else but the kids. That is something that I had to learn. Uh, these past few days. Number two, you and your woman have to have a certain line of independence in order for her to be able to handle her business, i.e. 
If you gotta, if, if y'all gotta meet, excuse me, if they have to meet to drop off the children and they gotta converse and do what they do as the parents from birth, I just gotta put it like that, they gotta be able to do that on their own time, right? So what is, this taught me is we need two cars, okay? And <laughs> I told my dad that he was just like, you don't need, no, you don't need another car. I, I think we do. Um, but the reason why I'm saying that is because I don't, if we sharing the same car and I need to use the car, what the things that you deal with, I ain't going to deal with that shit. So, you know, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come an hour later. Yeah. I might, uh, I mean, no, nah. if the, if the time is this time, it's this time. And that's when we going to meet, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I would do. So we have to reestablish more independence in this because she needs to be able to get in the car and go. I don't need to be worried about any of that and I can get in my car and go, you know, um, those who don't know, we met and, um, we both were down bad, down bad, you know? So we had to start over completely clothes, shoes, uh, apartments, uh, cars completely start over and to rebuild your life like that. It takes money. Okay, and it takes time. So in this situation, we just been thugging it with one car because I mean hell, we that really the only time she need it. You know, so I she don't go nowhere. <laughs> she don't go nowhere. But my sanity for me, when I be ready to get in my car and drive off, see that's how my household is though. Baby, I ain't going nowhere anyway. I just gotta go drop them off though. I gotta go drop them off. Which is completely okay. But all right now. It's a uh, couple minutes past what's going on. That's when it becomes an issue. So y'all let me know if I'm dragging it on um, getting another car. I, I, I will respect all uh, comments on that. Um, but I just want to alleviate as much drama as I can. And to be honest, that's the main little piece. You know, because it's really outside of what just happened. It's really nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand boundaries now. I understand um, where I have, and, and, and I want to say this too. I run my household, y'all. So <clears throat> it's not a case of I can't do certain things or um, I can't call certain shots. That's not what goes on in my household. Uh, I handle my business and my woman let me handle my business. You get what I'm saying? Um, and she just, she right behind a nigga. Handle it, I'll be following you, okay? So we don't have that problem. Um, I guess it's my ego, you know, when it comes to my time, when it comes to my money, when it comes to um, this whole blended thing. You know, I was thinking shit. You know, I could fuck with you, I right? We ain't gotta be for best friends. But the way we met, y'all, that's another thing that I just recently really put into perspective. Once again, after having a conversation as well, but I really put that into perspective. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, it ain't gonna work if all y'all don't talk. Y'all, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. So, um, this would be one of those situations where birthdays are separate. All of them. You, you getting two birthdays, two graduation parties, two Thanksgivings, two Christmases. Two Easter, two Valentine's Day, you get into it, everything. And some people operate that way. See, I I was raised in a blended family. <coughs> so I'm so used to being blended anyway. Like I like that is the story of my life. My dad met my um my mom, but my stepmom um when I was five. And she's been taking care of me since I was five. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how real that is. You know, I'm 32 now. Like, that's my mama. You know what I'm saying? So, with blended families, though, my dad didn't have to deal with their dad. You know what I'm saying? Because he, was, he wasn't there anyway. So, my dad was able to have the floor, you know. And in my situation, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same. So, um, I want to know down in the comments, which, what do y'all do? in y'all's co-parenting situations um i know it ain't ain't easy or has been easy 
some of y'all probably going through it right now you know what i'm saying because honestly co-parenting is just what's gonna happen in life because everybody not gonna get married to they baby mama <laughs> they're not gonna get married to their baby daddy you know what's crazy before all of this i've heard so many baby mama baby daddy stories and i mean even with my brothers you know what i'm saying like my brothers like that's a real like it's a real thing <clears throat> and before you're in it you just having conversation like Damn, bro, shit, if I was you, but, but I'd do that. If I was you, I'd do that. Man, you don't know what the fuck you would do. <laughs> you really don't, unless you're in this situation. I'm not going to lie. It's one of them situations you'd be like, I know what you're saying you would do, and that's cute. <laughs> but that's not what I did. You, you know, people get offended like, that's not what the fuck I did, though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all right. <laughs> so... In this situation, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck you would do, bro. You you really don't. But yeah, I want to know what y'all think. Um, we are good now. Um, and not this is not exaggerated. I'll be trying to tell y'all, ain't no relationship perfect. Stop looking and idolizing relationships on the internet. We go through our own shit. <laughs> and this is what I have to tell y'all that. And I, please, record it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because don't ever forget it. <laughs> Just because you see, when I'm on the camera and we together, we happy in real life. Like, I cannot get on the camera with anybody and fake no fun. I can't do it. So if you don't see us on camera together, that, there's something going on. But if you do see us on camera together and we are fine, we really fine. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> we good now. Um, but we had to go through this and we're going to go through more. That's why I, will, I just, you know, I want to know what y'all think and, and what y'all do. And you know, this situation is so real. Co-parenting is so real. I think it's the best conversation to be transparent on. I really do. Cause I, either party can't, <laughs> you can't tell me how to feel. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell him how to feel and nobody can tell her how to feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, Co-parents are very important. Uh, excuse me, a third parent is very important. And in some cases, a fourth. I feel like they are very important because it does take a village to raise these children. You know what I'm saying? I've seen um, single parents out here going the fuck through it. They wish they could just get a break. Begging for a break. They may not have to deal with a baby mama or a baby daddy. But they begging for a break. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Then you have those couples that, well, not couples, um, one of the parents is dating and the other parent isn't dating. So one could potentially be bitter and one might not be. And in some cases, it ain't even bitterness. You just, it's new. You don't know how to deal with it. You don't know what to do. And in this case, for all three of us, this is new. So it's just a lot. But... What I will say is I learned to stay out the way. Uh, I do not have to overextend my hand. I don't have to overstep my boundaries. Um, and as long as all parties are respected, everything should be cool. Also, both parties should have their own independence. Definitely, definitely going to have to get a second car. You know what I'm saying? Um, we do everything together. And I'm looking at my... Because I know y'all might be like, why are you looking... I'm looking at my camera time, trying to make sure this shit don't cut off on me. And I be sitting out here talking and this shit don't cut off. But um, I think it's adamant for independence to be in a relationship, which we don't even have an issue with. It's just that we do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm going somewhere, she going. If she don't want to go, she's staying here. <laughs> if she want to go out, she taking a car. But is it all the time? It's every once in a while, every blue moon. Like... Baby, I want to go out with my girlfriend today. Baby, I want to go out with, um, not I want to. Baby, I'm going to go out with my niece or I'm going to do whatever it is she wants to do. And that's every blue moon because she just like being with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't go nowhere aside from going to chase somebody's dollar bill. And she's with me. You know what I'm saying? So we really don't even need a second car, I feel like. But let me know. I want to know what y'all think about that, about me getting a second car. 
Just for that. Just for that. Please. I feel like, you know, or it, it would just be, it would just make more sense that on the days they're getting dropped off and or picked up, I just don't need to worry about the car. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, may, I probably haven't matured in this area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, also, in this situation, this is why I want to have another baby. Like, I think that y'all think that um, I have been capping for this past little, little storyline DDG situation, right? And don't get me wrong. DDG definitely has sparked a lot of flames in the YouTube community. Everybody is ready to make a video <laughs> and, and make a storyline. And to be honest, one going to be coming for y'all in a couple of days. Um, but it's because we have to entertain. It's the truth. But with this, I said, fuck it. I might as well just, you know what I'm saying? Do what I really feel right now because this is it. Like, this is why I wanted and want to have my own child. I, I mean, shit. I, my motherly instincts are just kicking in. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's not cap. I really, I'm scared as fuck though. I'm not. Y'all, like. To me, fear is not real. It's not. Fear is a figment of your fucking up figment, a pigment um, of your imagination. In this case, it's like it's more than that. It's scary, you know, and for so many reasons. I get it. I'm overthinking on the death part. Or I'm overthinking on the baby potentially stretching my asshole, right? I get it. Pain is going to come with this. I get that part. But it's just the fact that you actually going to do it. You know what I'm saying? The anticipation for me because I have a choice. Because I'm not just out here smashing on Tom Jerry and now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just out here smashing. So if I were to just get pregnant, I sh oh shit, I got to deal with it. Y'all, if I decided I wanted to have sex with Tyrone, baby, I'm going to have to schedule it. We're going to have to know what's going on. We're going to have to know why we did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then, <clears throat> like like y'all said, you, you mess around and do it once. And you don't come. You still got to keep doing it. So I'm just... The clinic, I know. Got to have money. It's just... I don't even care... <laughs> If I'm judged for this video, I want to be honest with y'all. <sighs> pray for me. Pray for me. Um, and I'm going to pray for y'all. I know I ain't the only one going through this shit. That's one thing I will say. I ain't that stupid. It's a lot of y'all going through exactly what I'm talking about now. And I probably helped some of y'all damn studs. But it's a lot of studs who've been, who've been doing the blended family thing for a very long time. That I, this is a life I don't know nothing about because I'm I'm just now getting into it. I'm just now getting my feet wet with this. I've had studs that decided, fuck it, I'm just going to have my own. You know, <laughs> studs a lie and say um, they didn't have sex with a man, girl, and just they'll go to the utmost worst shit <laughs> to talk about what happened for them to conceive, man. And it, it just ain't that deep for me. Y'all, my snatch box was bought here to, to produce. <laughs> I'm not oblivious to that. So I ain't no shame in my game at all. I do. I want a baby, but fuck. I'm so scared. But, um, I mean, I, I'm not just scared because of the physical. And I think that's what y'all think. I'm not just afraid of the physical. Um, let me just get more transparent with y'all. I'm debating on... If I want the baby's potential baby's father to be in my child's life versus the baby not having a father. You know? Like, um, I'm having that that issue. Um because I, I know a lot of y'all been saying the clinic, and I know y'all. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't think a damn thing wrong with that, you know. <clears throat> but I have a baby with TT. I gotta make sure we in it to win it. And 
I I definitely know she's in it to win it. Um, and I am too. It's just when you when you can anticipate these things. And maybe I'm an overthinker. Maybe I'm overthinking all of this, right? Um but yeah. I just it's just been a lot on my mind with this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. A lot on my mind about this and um yeah i just wanted to vent to y'all honestly me and her have been talking non-stop for the past three to four days about this i've spoken to the kid's father um and quite frankly we all got a role that we got to play and ultimately that's it we just got to play it that's the only way everybody gonna be able to get along in this you know what i'm saying so um, that's what we're going to do until further notice. And I mean, that's it, you know? Um, but in the meantime, in between time, I got some decisions to make because quite frankly, I would love to have a relationship with my own child that, that, you know, that knows I'm his or her mommy, <coughs> you know? And um, it just seems as though it's, it, it's no better feeling, you know what I'm saying? So, I um, I definitely got some thinking to do, but I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't care who came here to judge me. <laughs> you can, you know, keep the negativity in 2021, baby. I don't give a damn about none of that. To the people that have common sense and understand that life happens, and you know. Some people just need a kind word and a little bit of um a little bit of motivation. Um comment down below. Comment down below on that, please. And that's all. I won't be going I won't be going missing uh for a while. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had to get that together. When I'm stressed, I don't record. When I'm stressed, I can't I can't give y'all uh when when I'm not happy, I'm mean. How about that? So I don't wanna give y'all that. You know what I'm saying? Um Y'all know, y'all can tell the difference, so. I'm happy and now I'm tipsy. So, I'm about to go back to my stream. Um, they actually watching the video right now. And, uh, yeah. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Comment down below something nice. Let me know what you would do. Let me know what you have going on, you know. Um, DM a bitch, you know what I'm saying. Um, slide a number, just in case I'm on a call, you know what I'm saying. And, um, that's it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Later.